the camera never lies, or so they say. I love Facebook memories, a really lovely way of looking back in time. A few months ago, I was going into my Facebook memories and a picture popped up of me from about nine years ago. I was at a wedding and my automatic thought when I looked at that picture was, God, look how slim I am. And in that very moment, it there was this pull to compare that person in that photo from nine years ago and the person that I am today. But that comparison would, uh, was only based upon my physical outward look, i.e. my size, my weight, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> Thank God I've done the work that I've done on myself because in that very moment, I felt that pull to do this really harsh, critical comparison because I probably am about two stone heavier than I was in that photo. And it's really easy when you look at photos of yourself when you're slimmer, younger, look in your terms better than you do at the moment to make these harsh comparisons. In that moment, I was able to capture that thought and stop it manifesting into something much bigger than it needed to be. Something that in the past, that way of thinking would have forced me into taking action and putting myself on a restrictive diet in order to try to get back to that person as if in some way that person was better uh, in some way. I'm sure this makes sense to you. But in that moment, I kind of pressed a pause button and I slowed that whole process down, the whole way of thinking and feeling. And I looked at that, po that picture of me from nine years ago. And yes, I was in a size 12 dress that was actually big on me. And I looked lovely. But there was a sadness in my eyes. And as I connected to that younger self, I knew the reality you know, so pictures do lie, you know, and when we only take pictures at face value, what we don't see is what's going on behind them. Because even nine or 10 years ago, yes, I was slimmer, but the way I was managing my relationship with food and self was very, very different. Four years ago, I made a decision to stop dieting, dieting in the restrictive, starving myself, then binging sense, you know, that yo-yo dieting cycle. And I made a promise to myself that I was no longer going to live in a world where I was saying no to food, where I was going round the yo-yo dieting merry-go-round. I decided I was getting off that merry-go-round. And over the last four years, I've spent huge amounts of time, research and energy focusing on my emotional and psychological well-being. And here I am, I sit today. Yes, I'm a couple of stone heavier than I was nine years ago. Part of that is health reasons. But part of that is my focus has been spent on getting my internal game in a better place, in a stronger place, in a more resilient place. So as my drivers for emotional eating weren't so strong. You know, losing weight is really only 8% of the overall picture. Eating less and exercising is a really small percentage of the overall strategy for if we want to let go of the fat that we're holding on to. 98% sorry, 92%, can't do my maths there, is our inner game. It's our thoughts and our feelings, our belief system. You know, the reasons why we self-sabotage, the reason why we're reluctant to let go of our fat. You know, and it's only when we start to focus on the inner game. It's really interesting because as humans, we buy into this concept that if we lose weight, that's what's going to build our confidence and our self and self-esteem. And to a little degree, it does. But in the main, what we need to do, we need to flip it. We kind of do it backwards. We need to flip it. We need to focus on building our confidence and our self-esteem so as we no longer have to hold on to the fat. You may have seen that next year I'm launching a brand new program, A Year to Change Your Life. It's going to be an offline program for those that live local to me and an online program for those that don't. And it's going to be, it's all geared around taking you on a journey. Firstly, building a community that's going to offer you the proper support that you need to take you through this process. 
whilst there will be an element of focusing on the physical aspect of self-care, i.e. eat less and exercise, a big part of the programme is going to be focusing on the emotional and psychological impact. You know, taking a look at where it all starts, exploring self-sabotage, exploring the things that need to happen to keep to get you started but more importantly keep you going to look at lapses and look at why they happen to explore the inner critic the inner rebel all these parts of self that want to keep us safe and want us want to keep us protected behind our layers of fat so it's going to be launching in January. The offline programs are um, groups that are going to be run local to me. So if you'd like a little bit more information, if you're local, then do get in touch. Um, I really want to speak to everybody that wants to come on board before starting them. Um, so as we've built that relationship from the start, um, the online program is also going to launch mid January. It's going to be £30 a month. Um, my vision longer term is going to be to bring in some other guest speakers and to very much build a real supportive community where you can come and access there will be weekly structure so you'll have an opportunity to do a weekly weigh-in you'll have an opportunity to set your intentions for the week and review against them there's going to be opportunity to ask questions live zoom calls where you can jump on and talk about how things are going discuss any issues that you're having with other members of the group so it's very much about building a community feel you know I'm not going to make you false promises I can't do the work for you but I can and walk along your, beside you and share my experience and my learning and my knowledge with you to help you to do the same. So if you want 2020 to be a little bit different, if you are fed up with the yo-yo dieting cycle and know you need something a little bit more, that you know you need to start facing up to some of the stuff that's going on at a deeper level, then a year to change your life is possibly exactly what you're looking for. Any questions, get in touch.